confusion is something very simple in some sense. It's what we see every day. Um, it's the sun. So fusion is nothing more than what powers the sun and the stars, uh, which is as a result also the reason why there's life on Earth and maybe in other places. So it, it's a very simple principle that works very reliably, um, but it's much more difficult to accomplish here on Earth. So the challenges are to create things that are hot enough. Whereas the sun is fairly hot, it's also very dense, which means there is a lot of chances for fusion reactions to occur. On Earth, we cannot make anything that dense. Um, you know, it would be a huge gravity pull, um, kind of would kind of defeat the purpose. So we actually have to make things much hotter than the sun. There are several ways or paths people would like to get to a fusion reactor. And so the one we are uh, exploring with uses magnetic fields. The way this works is that when you're actually heating a gas up to the temperatures that the sun has, it becomes a plasma and it splits out in charged particles. And charged particles like to stick to magnetic fields. So we use very strong magnetic fields to confine our plasma so they stay nice confined and we allow for, and we would have fusion reactors if we have the right densities and temperatures at that point. So what you see right here are these filamentary structures. They look like these lines that wrap around the tokamak and they actually follow the magnetic field. And what's really interesting is this is turbulent transport right across the edge, across a boundary that in an ideal world shouldn't have any transport across it. So I'm using this code uh, to investigate how different, uh, changing different parameters, um, both spatially and temporarily, temporarily uh, affects both the edge region of the plasma as well as um, uh, the core. The purple region is uh, where our, our plasma is, or our core and soul plasma actually is. It's simulated on a rectangular um, grid. The sort of teal triangular mesh uh, fills up the rest of the um, vessel of CMOD, and that uh, helps us track uh, neutral particles. If for some reason you would completely destroy your reactor, which would be costly, um, the amount of radioactive material that could escape by the time it leaves the site on which your reactor is built is not detectable anymore. Because you're talking about one gram of seawater to fuel a city. 